Well, guys, good morning, good morning uh, to another morning of prayer. And as we pray this morning, it is a awesome time to pray this week specific, specifically uh, with the very specific, as we come to, of course, to Easter weekend. And so good morning, good morning. How's it guys? Good morning everybody and um, good morning, good morning and hope everybody is good and everybody is well. Good morning guys, good morning and uh, let's just take a moment and good morning. It's such a privilege just to be with you guys this morning and to pray very specifically and uh, just uh, especially because this is... Um, Guys, we are heading towards Easter. We're heading towards uh, Good Friday. We're heading towards Resurrection Sunday. And um, it is such a, just an important weekend for us coming. And as we think about Jesus this coming weekend, as we think about the Lord uh, in this day, uh, we're going to pray just specifically this morning. We're going to pray for the power and the presence of God to come and be with you right there where you are. Uh, we're going to pray in different things this morning. And so what I want to ask you very simply this morning as we, as we step into prayer, I just want to take a moment or so. Good morning, guys. Morning, morning, morning. Uh, it's good to see everybody and uh, good to be with everybody and just to see the guys climbing on. Just going to give you a moment or so. Um, just giving you a moment. And won't you just climb on and tag people. Let the people know I'm on. And I also want you, what I want you to do this morning is... Uh, share this prayer with at least five people. Let's get this out to people. Uh, share it as far as what you can. And let's just take a quick moment or so, uh, just two minutes, three minutes, and let's just share. Let's get it out. Let's get it out to other people. And I just want to give you an opportunity to do so. And, and then we're going to start to pray. It is a good day. It is a, a day to say, Father, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Um, but as we step into prayer this morning, uh, why don't you just take a moment and share it, get it out to people and uh, tag, tag five people into prayer this morning and let's just do so and then we're going to step into a time of prayer and seeking the face of Jesus. Amen. And so as you go into it guys, I'm just going to give a moment or so more um, that uh, we can get into it. Thank you Lord, thank you for the power of prayer. Thank you for the power of prayer. Just tag, tag five people, guys. Come on, uh, just get them into it this morning. And let me just see. Good morning. Uh, I see many of our family guys are jumping on. Uh, family members. Uh, I see Durban is jumping on. Cape Town is on already. I see some of them on. Pretoria is climbing on. Uh, let's, just, let's just get the people on, guys. Uh, let's get our people on. I want everybody to be on. And again, I say, let's just take a, take a moment and share. Just take a moment and share. Uh, get the prayer out to just to people. Tag three, four, five, six, seven people into the prayer this morning so that we can pray. And, um, and let's just do so. Let's just go for it. And I see the people are jumping on. The people are jumping on. Awesome. So guys, as, as we get into prayer this morning, uh, very, very specifically, there are things that I want to pray about why this is Easter weekend. This is, it's all about Jesus. Every day is about the Lord. Uh, but this weekend we get to celebrate what He did for us. We get to celebrate the price that He paid for us. We get to celebrate the price tag of the cross. We get to celebrate our freedom. We get to celebrate our redemption. We get to celebrate that the Son has set us free. And He that the Son has set free is free indeed. And so this morning, as we go to the Lord, I want to pray that the presence of God will come into your house. The presence of God will come into that room where you are. And the presence of God will come into your car, wherever you are. But that we will know that we will know that there is nothing without the presence of God. Everything is about the presence. The final words of Jesus was this. He made this statement. He says, and I will pray the Father and He will send you another helper. Please note that it is the final words of Jesus. Jesus says, I will pray the Father and He will send you another helper. In other words, Jesus uh, wasn't mixing His words. He wasn't wasting words. He was saying, I will pray the Father and He will send you another helper. 
If you need to know, He spoke about the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that is important for us. It is the Holy Spirit that is vital for us. And so as we start to pray this morning, I want us to put our eyes upon Jesus and we ask the Holy Spirit to help us as we pray. The Bible makes it clear in Romans 8.26, how be it that we do not know how we need to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit prays through us with utterings and with groanings. So Father, we come to you this morning. Lord, we thank you for your presence and your power that is in our lives. We thank you, Lord, that you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We thank you, Lord, that you are the God that answers by fire. Father, I want to pray in this morning as we come to you. Lord, we thank you for a new day. We thank you for your presence upon our lives. We thank you, Lord, that your presence is in us. We thank you that your presence is upon us. We thank you that your presence is ahead of us. We thank you, Jesus, that you are the way. We thank you, Jesus, that you are the truth. We thank you, Jesus, that you are the life. There is no other. Father, in this day, we lift up the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we want to give you all the praise and all the honor and all the adoration. Father, I want to pray, Lord Jesus, that your people will be baptized afresh with the power of the Holy Spirit and a baptism of fresh love, Romans 5.5. 5. Father, I want to thank you this morning. And there we are. I want you just to say that with me. Say, we thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. I just want us to say thank you for it. This gospel that we have, this good news that we serve, is about a God that left heaven for us. It's about a God that came for the world. The Bible says, for whosoever believes in the Son will not perish, but will inherit eternal life. Hallelujah. Jesus didn't just pay a price. He paid the price. He did us went to the cross. He took up the cross that we don't need to take it up. So I want you, there we are, just say thank you. Say thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Come on, guys, there we are. I want you just to say, say thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Thank you, Father. We want to say, Lord, this morning, Lord, there's nobody like you. Father, we thank you for the cross. Jesus, we want to thank you that you went to the cross. We want to thank you, Lord Jesus, that you paid the full price. Father, you didn't just pay a price. You paid the full price. You paid the full price, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we are no longer slaves, Lord, of a system, but we are sons and daughters of a kingdom. And Father, this morning, we want to pray, Lord Jesus. Lord, we want to say thank you. Thank you that we are sons. Thank you that we are daughters. And there we are this morning, church. Uh, guys, I, I want you just to say that to the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you that I'm a son. I'm no longer a slave. I've been received into the household of God. I am a son and a daughter of God. I want to just declare that. Say that with me. Say, me, thank you, God, that I'm a son and a daughter. I'm a son and a daughter. If you could use a donkey, you can use a daughter. Father, we want to say this morning, thank you that we are sons and daughters of the Most High God. Father, thank you that your word declares we have not received, Lord, a spirit again to enslave us, but we have received the spirit by which we may cry, Abba, Father. And this morning, Lord, we cry out to you. We thank you, Lord. Father, I want to pray, Lord Jesus, for more of your presence in our lives. Father, we want to pray for more of your presence. Lord, come and rest upon us afresh and anew. Come and rest upon us afresh and anew. There we are. I want you to ask God. Say, Lord, Holy Spirit, come and fill me afresh and anew. Come and fill me afresh and anew. Guys, there is nothing we can do without the Holy Spirit, but there's power when we have a friendship with the Holy Spirit. Save me, Lord Holy Spirit, come and rest upon me. Come and rest upon me. Father, this morning, I want to thank you. I want to thank you that I can say gladly so, Lord. I recognize Jesus Christ as my only Lord, as my only God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that in this day, Father, I, I want to declare that over the people in this day. Father, thank you that we can break off and we can renounce every form of sickness, disease, pestilence, hindrance and obstacle in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to be bold this morning as we declare some of this stuff, guys, because there's a fire that needs to come into our beings. We have to have the understanding that we are full of the Holy Spirit. We are full of fire. We have received the power from above. We have been endured of everything on high. The Bible says, Jesus says, tarry in Jerusalem until you receive power from on high. This word tarry or this word endured or uh, means to be clothed, to be dressed of power. And so we thank the Lord for the power that we have received in the person of Jesus Christ. So I want you to say with me, say, Father, I thank you that in this day we can break and we can renounce 
we can break and we can renounce every form of sickness, every form of disease, every form of pestilence, every form of hindrance in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, thank you that every weapon formed against me shall fail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to be bold when you say this. Every weapon formed against you shall fail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every weapon formed shall be taught. Every weapon formed shall fall to the ground. Though a thousand might fall on my left and ten thousand on my right, it shall not draw near unto my house. For I serve the Lord my God. There has to be a boldness that comes upon us. A thousand might fall, I say again, and ten thousand on my right, but it shall not draw near unto me. Father, thank you that in this day, Lord, we can declare, Lord, that he that is with me is greater than he that is in this world. I want you just to say that there we are. Save me. He that is with me is greater than he that is in this world. Save me in this day. He that is with me is greater than he that is in this world. Father, thank you that in this day, Lord, I want to speak it out over every single person this morning, Lord, that is joining me, Lord, if I, as I see the names running. Father, I thank you that the weapons of warfare that is given unto us is not carnal, but mighty in God for the pulling down of strongholds. Father, thank you that in this day I can declare over people's lives divine favor in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as we seek the Lord our God. Father, baptize us afresh and anew. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Fill us with fresh fire, my God. Father, we're crying out to you as a dear pant about the streams of living water. Lord, so my soul longs for you, God. Lord, what can a man do without the presence? What can a man do without God? What can a man do without the Holy Spirit? Oh my God, there is nothing that we can do. Nothing that we can do. Father, and therefore, we cry out to you this morning, Lord. Holy are you, O oh God. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, the one that was and is and is to come. Holy is the Holy One of Israel. Holy is the one that sits upon the throne, both now and forevermore. Father, we give you all the glory and all the praise and all the honor. We lift up the name of Jesus above sickness and disease and circumstances. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Oh devil, we want you to know that you have lost and you have lost us for all eternity. We are no longer slaves to sin. We are sons and daughters of the Most High God. We have been seated with Christ in heavenly places. We have been seated with Christ. We have been purchased by the blood. There is no devil in hell that can stop the plan and the purpose of the Lord upon my life. Father, I want to speak it out of the people. Philippians chapter 1 and verse number 6. Thank you, Lord, that every plan, every purpose that you have over our lives shall succeed. Praise the Lord, my God. I want you, there we are. I want you to say that out loud. Say with me. And I want you to, I want you to have joy this morning when you say it. Say with me, every plan shall succeed. Every plan shall succeed. Every plan shall succeed. Every plan shall succeed because of the Lord my God which I serve. Oh guys, come on, let it run. Say that with me. Say with me, every plan shall succeed. Every plan shall succeed. Every plan shall succeed. Every plan shall succeed. I want you to comment that. Every plan shall succeed. I'm looking at all the names, guys. Come on guys, let's push in the spirit. 
Rebeta Rabosta Rabakata Tabayandro Bosta Rabakata Tabayandro Robondro Bosta Rabakata Tabayandra. I want you to say this morning, say with me, every plan shall be successful. Every plan shall be successful. Borabata Tabayandro Bokor Rabakata Tabayandro Bosta Rabakata Tabayandra. There we are this morning. I want you to declare with me. Borabakata Tabayandro Bokor Rabakata Tabayandra. I want you to say with me, save me, every curse shall be cancelled in this day over my family, over my home, in Jesus' name. Father, in this morning, thank you that we can declare that every curse is broken in this day, in Jesus' name. Father, I bind up every form of satanic attention every form of devil, Lord, that has formed itself against household, any pattern that has been formed whatsoever. Father, we break that in this day, in Jesus Christ's name over people's lives. I want you to give the Lord a shout of praise. There we are. Say with me, every curse is cancelled. Every curse is broken over my family, over my household, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every curse, every curse, every curse. I want us to be bold about this this morning, guys. Every curse, every curse, not just some, not just a few, every single one, they're broken in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I want us to be bold about this this morning because there's a, there's a fire that has to come upon us once again, guys. And it's the fire of the Holy Spirit. There's a fire that has to come upon us that we seek the Lord and nobody else. Save me, there we are this morning. Save me, Lord Jesus Christ. I seek you of all of my heart. I seek you of everything that is in me. Oh, hallelujah. There's people on here this morning. You have to receive a fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit. You have to receive a fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit. And I want to pray for you right now that there we are. I want you to lift your hands. <laughs> hey guys, I, I tell you, I'm more convinced than ever before that we need the Holy Spirit. I can tell you, uh, the plans of man is not good enough. We need the Holy Spirit. We need Him in everything we do. And there we are this morning. I want to pray for a fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit upon your life. And so just for a moment, I want you, because I'm going to deal with certain things that the devil does, I want you just to lift your hands for a moment and say, Lord, Holy Spirit, come and baptize me afresh. Father, I want to pray over the screen this morning, Lord. Lord, of hundreds of people watching me this morning, Father, I want to pray right now, Lord, that there's a fresh infilling of your Spirit coming upon people. In Jesus' name. Father, fill the people afresh. Fill the people afresh. Fill the people afresh this morning, Lord. Oh, bo rabakata tabayat robushta rabakata tabayandra. Ribeta rabushta rabakata tabakor rabakata tabayandro. Rabata tabakata tabakor rabakata tabayandro. Boko rabakata tabayandro bushtere. Rabata rabushta rabakata tabakor rabakata tabayandro bushtere. Bo rabakata tabayandro boko rabaka. We thank you, Father. Bo rabakata tabakor rabakata tabakor rabakata tabayandro. Borabaka, glorify your name, God. Borabakata tabeandro bokora bakat. Father, I want to pray this morning. Lord, we want to break every pattern, every cycle. Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, this morning I want to come against every pattern and every cycle established in people's lives. Right now, Father, we come against cycles of death, cycles of torment, cycles of anxiety, cycles of depression, cycles of lack. Cycles of insufficiency. Lord, cycles that the enemy has tried to establish. Father, this morning we break every demonic cycle over people's lives in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I pray for the fire of God to come and burn up every cycle and every demonic pattern established. Father, there's people on here that there's words that has been spoken against you. Lord, this morning, Lord, every word spoken in condemnation, we condemn in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to say that with me. Save me every word spoken in condemnation. I condemn it in this day in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I just want to speak it out over people this morning. Lord, every word spoken in condemnation. Lord, we reject it in this day. We condemn these words in the name of Jesus Christ. They will fall to the ground null and void 
Father, in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, every word spoken, every word declared over people, Lord, this morning, right now, we cancel words spoken over people in the name of Jesus. I want you, there we are, I want you to say, to agree with me, save me, every word spoken, every word spoken, you cancel that, you cancel that, every demonic word spoken over your life, you cancel that right now in Jesus Christ's name. Come on guys, I, I want you to declare that, I want you to be bold. I want you to declare that and I want you to be bold right now. Save me every, every, every word spoken in condemnation against you. We cancel, we break the power of these words in Jesus Christ's name. We thank you for that Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you Lord that in this morning, Lord that we can break off all ungodly alliances, all ungodly alliances whether we've made it by omission or commission, Lord. Lord, we break off any and every form of ungodly alliance in this day, in Jesus Christ's name. I want you to say with me, there we are. Say with me, Father, I break off. Father, I break off every, every demonic alliance. Every demonic alliance in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demonic alliance, every single one of them. Every single one of them. Guys, I want you to be bold about this right now. Oh, borra bakata tabiandra, bokura bakata tabiandra, bokura bakata tabakata tabiandra, borra bakata tabakata tabiandra, bushtara bokura bakata tabiandra, borra bakata tabakata tabakura bakata tabiandra, rebetara bushtara bakata tabiandra, bokura bakata tabiandra, rabatara bushtara bakata tabayetro bushtara bondra, rabata tabayetro bushtara bakata tabayandro bushtere. Oh, Robonda Rabakata Tabakoto Robusta Rabakata Tabiandra Rabata Rabusta Rabakata Tabiandro Bustera Rebeta Rabusta Rabakata Tabiandro Bustera Rebeta Rabusta Rabakata Tabakata Tabiandro Bustera Rabakata Tabiandra Rabato Robusta Rabakata Tabiandro Bustera Rabonda Rabakata Tabiandra Father, we thank you, Lord, for freedom this morning. I want you there, we all this morning, guys. I want you to receive freedom. I want you to receive freedom. Receive freedom. Save me this morning. Father, I thank you for the freedom that is in Christ Jesus. I thank you for the freedom right now, in this day, in this moment, in Jesus Christ. Father, I pray right now, Lord Jesus, right now over every situation, over every circumstance, the freedom in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I speak freedom over people. I speak freedom over households. I speak freedom over businesses in Jesus' name. Satan, we command you in this day, your time and your season over people's lives have come to an end in Jesus Christ's name. And Father, I want to speak this morning over people's lives. We want to declare over their lives, Lord Jesus, a freedom and a divine freedom in this day, in this moment, in Jesus Christ's name. Guys, there we are. I want you to say, Father, I receive the freedom. I receive the freedom. I receive the freedom right now in Jesus Christ's name. I receive the freedom right now in Jesus Christ's name. Come on, guys. I want you just to say that. Save me. I receive the freedom. I receive the freedom. I receive the freedom. I receive the freedom right now in Jesus Christ's name. There's businesses this morning that I want to speak out over. I want you to comment your business right now. I want to speak over businesses this morning. I want to give you a word of life this morning over your business. Every person that has a business on this line, I want you to comment your business name right now. Guys, I want you to comment quickly, quickly. I want you right now to put up every business name. I want to see every business name running on the screen. Come on, guys, make it run. Make it run. I'm going to give you 10 seconds quickly to do this. Uh, let your every business, every business, let it quickly run onto the screen. I want to give you 10, 15 seconds. I have a word of God for you over businesses this morning. Come on, guys, businesses, put those businesses up. Bora bakata tabakara bokura bakata tabiandre. Bora bakata tabiandro bokura bakata tabiandro bushtara bakata tabiandra. Bera batata bokura bakata tabokura bakatara. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I declare favor over every business 
in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I declare supernatural favor over businesses right now in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I speak out, Lord, over every business right now in Jesus Christ's name. For Father, as I look into the spirit realm, Father, I want to thank you that in this moment, in this moment right now, Lord, there comes a freedom and a deliverance over businesses. For Father, in this moment, in this morning, right now, Lord, I release favor upon businesses in Jesus' name. For I declare unto you, you will be able to do business no, like no other season and like no other time. Father, I declare over the businesses this morning, divine favor. I pray for the oil of God to come upon businesses. I pray for the anointing to come upon businesses. I pray for divine strategies, divine agreements, divine partners in Jesus' name. Father, even as I see this morning, I want to declare, Lord, that things that have held people back, Lord, things that have held people captive, things that have held businesses captive, we break that in this day, in Jesus Christ's name, over every single business this morning, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we speak freedom in the name of Jesus. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Freedom in the name of Jesus. Right now, Father, I thank you that in this day, that in this week, Lord, even as we go up to the Good Friday, Father, I want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for supernatural favor for businesses in Jesus' name. And there we are this morning. I want you to be able to say, save me, my business will have supernatural favor. My business will have supernatural favor. I want to declare that, guys. Come on, say with me. My business will have supernatural favor. I want you just to be bold about that. Save me, my business will have supernatural natural favor supernatural favor supernatural favor supernatural favor father i thank you for supernatural favor in jesus christ's name over businesses in this day in jesus christ's name i declare that it shall be so from this moment in the name of jesus christ oh we thank you, Lord. Businesses, you shall excel. You shall excel. There's businesses that has been dormant and stagnant. It will stop in this day. I declare of your business in this day that the businesses that has been dormant and stagnant from this day forward, it shall move and it shall move quickly. It shall move and it shall move quickly from this day forward in Jesus Christ's name. Father, we come to you this morning again, I pray. And Father, we declare over households, seasons of great peace, seasons of great favor, seasons, Lord, of great rest. Say with me this morning, guys, there we are. I want you to declare that with me. Save me. A season of peace upon my family. A season of great favor upon my family. Oh, hallelujah. A season of great peace. A season of great favor. We thank you, Father. Save me of your family again this morning, guys. Save me great favor, great favor, great favor, great favor. Bora bakata tabaka raboto robusta rabakata tabakata tabayandra robonda rabakata tabakata tabakata tabayandro bushere rebeta rabur rabakata tabakata tabayet robushere rebeta rabur rabakata taboto robusta rabakata tabayandra bora batara even now I see bora baka father I declare over people's lives this morning Lord as I see patterns are breaking chains are breaking all things are breaking off 
in this state. Lord, thank you as the enemy comes in like a flood. It is God that raises the standard. And Lord, I speak and I declare over people's lives in this state that a standard gets raised in Jesus Christ's name. Oh, blessed be the name of God. Blessed be the name of God. I want you this morning, uh, just for a moment or two, I want you to comment your, your, your surnames. I want you to comment your surnames. I want the surnames of the families quickly, guys. I want to pray just over your families. I want to pray over all the families. I want, to, I want you just to comment your family's names quickly. Everybody, just, just, just comment those, those families' names. I'm so passionate to see families being free. And we're going to declare over families in this day that there's a freedom that has to come over your family. There's a freedom that has to come over your children. There's a freedom that has to come over your household. Uh, the devil might have run in your family, but it stops this day. Why? Why? There's somebody that paid a price for us. There's somebody that paid by his blood for us. And so because he paid by his blood, because he went to the cross, there's not been a negotiation here. It's been a breaking of a yoke. It's been a destroying of an altar. It's been a destroying of, of yokes and of chains and of fetters that have been on people. Come on. We have to live the life of freedom, the abundant life. Jesus said, I've come to give you life and life abundantly. And so this morning, I want the family names. Go for it, guys. Push, push, push. I want you to comment every single family. I want you, I, I'm, looking for, I'm looking for the families this morning because I, I believe that the Lord is shifting things over families even in this day, in Jesus Christ's name. So there we are. I want you just to comment your families right now. Come on. Families, guys, families. I want all the families on. Families, families, families. I want you to put your family names on. Just throw the surnames. Come on, I see many names are coming. Many names. Push the families on. Push the families on. Family names. I want the family names. I'm giving you 10 more seconds, guys. Come on. Uh, we're going to speak over this. There's a scripture I want to go to you. Just keep on commenting your family names. Thank you, Jesus. Just all the family names. I want the family names. I want to declare over you. Listen to what the Bible says. And he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, carry us, up, carry us not up here, year four. If your presence don't come with us, we won't go. In other words, Exodus chapter number 33, verse number 15. Father, I want to declare over every family this morning, right now, that the presence of God will be in families. Father, I speak it out over every family name that gets listed right now. I want to speak over them, the presence of God, to come over their families right now in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I want to declare that, Lord, over families this morning in Jesus Christ's name. Listen to what the Bible says in Joshua chapter number 24 and verse number 14. Uh, the Bible says this, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I want you there where you are this morning to speak on your house behalf. Come on, husbands, uh, ladies, I want you to declare that over your own family this morning. Say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I want us to put that into, into the atmosphere. Come on, say with me, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Now listen to this. Uh, in Exodus chapter number 23, verse number 25, it says this, And you shall serve the Lord your God, 
and he shall bless thy bread and thy water and I will take the sickness away from the midst of thee. Please note the scripture again. Exodus chapter number 23 verse number 25 and, it's, and, it, and, the, and he shall, that's you, and you shall serve the Lord your God and, you, and he shall bless your bread. That means he shall bless your incoming. He, sh you sh he shall bless your water. That means your sustenance. And he will take sickness away from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I want to thank you that as households, Lord, declare that they will serve the Lord and nobody else. Father, I want to speak it out over people's lives this morning, Lord Jesus. Lord, that the incoming and the outgoing shall be blessed. Oh, hallelujah. Can you feel the Spirit of God in that? I want you to say that over your own life. Say, my incoming and my outgoing shall be blessed because I serve the Lord. My incoming and my outgoing shall be blessed because I serve the Lord. I serve the Lord. I serve the Lord. Save me this morning. I am anointed. I am anointed. I am anointed. We will not negotiate that we are anointed. Listen, say with me, I am anointed. Then the Bible says this, Philippians chapter number 4 and verse number 19. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Let me read that again. Philippians chapter number 4 and verse number 19. But my God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. Father, thank you that I can declare over every family on here this morning. I want you to say that with me. Declare it with me. Say, my God, my God, my God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. There will be not one member of my family that will have lack. There will not one have be one member of my family that will have any form of lack. I will walk in the abundance of the Lord. Oh, come on, hallelujah. Now listen to the scripture. Psalm 29 verse number 11 says this. Peace, O Lord, you give to my loved ones. Strength and peace. Let me say that again. Psalm 29 verse number 11. Peace, O Lord, you give my loved ones. Strength and peace. I want you to say that there we are this morning. Save me. Strength to me, O Lord. Strength and peace. You give unto my loved ones. Strength and peace. Strength and peace. Come on, guys. Let's say that together. Strength and peace. Strength and peace. You give unto my loved ones. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the year. Now, save me. Exodus chapter number 20 and verse number 12. The Bible says, honor your father and your mother. I want you to declare as people this morning, save me. I will be a person of honor. I will be a person of honor. I will be a person of honor in Jesus' name. I will be a person of honor. I will lack no good thing. I will lack no good thing. Father, I want to declare in this day, Lord, that you are the God that supplies all of our, all, 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 all of our needs according to the riches of Christ Jesus. Father, I want to thank you for fresh joy, fresh joy, fresh peace in Jesus' name. Nehemiah chapter number 8 verse number 10 that declares the, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Father, I want to thank you. I want you to, there we are this morning. I want you to say with me this morning, save me strength and peace is mine in Jesus' name. Strength and peace is mine in Jesus' name. Now, listen, this is the part that we need to be bold. I want you to be bold now. And at this moment, I want to ask you again, guys, if you haven't done so, I want you just to share quickly again. Everybody, I want you just to share, quickly share and I want us to have, go for two prayer points here. I've left it till now, but there's two things that I wanted to make sure that we pray out today, uh, especially, especially with this Easter coming. Two things that I want us to pray out today. So as you are there, I want you just to, 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 just to share this, and here is what I want us to pray. 
Say with me. Say with me. The purpose of the Lord, the purpose of the Lord shall be completed in my life. I want you to be bold when you say this. The purpose of the Lord shall be completed in my life. The purpose of the Lord shall be completed in my life. Listen to me this morning. There are many, 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 many people that are not completing their purpose. The Bible says, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not plans to harm you. God has got no plans to bring ill to you. God has got no plans to bring destruction to you. God has plans to prosper you. God has plans to advance you. But you shall fulfill the purpose that God has for you. And I want to declare over you this morning, there you are. You shall, you shall fulfill the purpose of the Lord. Come on. And as we do it, I want to be bold this morning because I just want to get the scripture. As, as, as we declared it this day, there has to be a boldness that comes upon us. Guys, listen, we can never negotiate with our purpose. Every single one of you that is online here with me this morning, as we're going to go to this Friday, we're going to celebrate King Jesus. But King Jesus came, the Lord came so that we can fulfill the purpose that He has for our lives so that the kingdom of God can advance. Every one of you play a role in the purpose of God. God has got a plan and it looks like you. God has got a purpose and it's dressed like you. And so I want you to be bold as you declare that this morning. Father, this morning I want to declare that over people's lives this morning. Right now, there we are, I want you to put up your hands. Right now, there we are, guys. I want you just to, to put up your hands as we declare the following. Father, I want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, over this, over this stream this morning, Father, I want to declare over people's lives, they shall fulfill the purpose and the plans that the Lord has for them. Father, right now, Lord, according to the authority assigned unto me, Father, I pray and I speak it out over people's lives right now. Lord, that every devil that has lied to people, Satan, you're a liar. You're a liar. You have lied to people. And so this morning we tell you, sickness, you're a liar. We tell you, uh, lack, you are a liar. Hindrances, you are a liar. Uh, betrayal, you are a liar. Depression, you are a liar. Anxiety, you are a liar. Fear, you are a liar. Rejection, you are a liar. But in this morning, right now, Father, I declare of your people, they shall fulfill the plans and the purposes that you have for them, says the Lord. For I will make a way for you where there seems to be no way. I will bring you out into a broad space. Yes, I will, says the Lord. I will take you into a moment of peace. I will bring you into a moment of great clarity. I will take you to a moment of great great advancements am i not the lord your god that breaks open a way am i not the lord the god that is called the god of praise am i not the breakthrough yes i am says the spirit of the lord and i will break it open for you time and time again resistance will fall sickness will fall devils will fall tribulation will fall times of hardship will fall for i'm bringing you out for even in this morning, you will hear the sound of the turtle dove back onto the field. You will hear a sound of joy. You will hear a sound of peace. You will hear a sound of life. Have I not died so that my children may have life? Have I not died that my children may have abundant life? Have I not died that I can be free? Yes, it is so, says the Spirit of the Lord. And Father, I want to pray and I want to declare over the people this morning that a fresh fire comes upon them, a fresh zeal comes upon them to say, I will love the Lord my God and I will serve no other. Oh guys, come on, hallelujah. I want you to say that with me. Say me, I will love the Lord my God and serve no other. I will love the Lord my God and serve no other. Now I want us to come to a place again. I want you to say thank you to the Lord Jesus because we're heading towards Good Friday. Hey guys, we're heading to Good Friday. If it wasn't for Good Friday, there won't be Resurrection Sunday. If Jesus wasn't raised, our faith is futile. I say it again. If Jesus wasn't raised, our faith is futile. Our faith is futile. I'm passionate. You know why I'm passionate? Because I understand that God is raising up a people. I'm passionate when I pray. Uh, I'm passionate about the Lord. I'm passionate about Him. Why? He paid for everything. He went through deep trials and tribulation. He went through pain and suffering. He went to the cross that I don't need to. He went to the cross and He paid the price. And there we are this morning. I want us just in this last few moments, I want you just to say thank you. Say thank you to the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. 
Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Come on, guys. Just full, full. Come on, come on, come on. Run, let it run, let it run. Throw hearts up. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for the cross. 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 Everybody, they just say thank you. Say thank you for the cross. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross. Guys, listen. There are, there are people on Sunday, I spoke about it. You've made vows to God. You've made promises to God. Keep your vows. Keep your promises. God will fulfill them. I tell you again. There are people you've made vows and promises to God. Keep your vows. Keep your promises. God is going to fulfill them. This is a word that comes to me as I sit here. Keep your vows. Keep your promises. God is going to fulfill them. What He said to you, He does. He's not a man that He can lie. He's not a man that He can lie. Keep the vows. Keep the promises. God is going to fulfill them. Amen and amen. Come on. I want you to... There we are. Oh, hallelujah. I feel that there's fresh joy coming upon people. I, I feel God is going to use people afresh and anew. Afresh and anew. I want you to say with me. Say with me, thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. The blood speaks, guys. Say, thank you for the blood. Say, Jesus, thank you for your blood. Thank you for the 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 blood. Guys, there we are this morning. I say again, there's people who have made vows and promises to God. I have this is word of my heart for you. And I hear the Lord say, keep it. I will fulfill it. I will fulfill it. I will fulfill it. God's going to keep His word. God's going to keep His word. It's not a man that He can lie. It's not a man that He can lie. Come on, just say with me two last things. Save me. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I'll serve you all the days of my life. I'll serve you all the days of my life. Father, I want to pray for your people this morning that a fresh fire and a fresh zeal comes upon each and every one of them. I pray that they will have a zeal for the Lord their God. I pray that they will love Jesus like no other. Lord, I pray like no other time in history that we will love Jesus well. Father, I pray that our hearts will not be upon anything but Jesus. I pray that we will be, Lord, Lord, as Brendan Manning says, that we will be professional lovers. They will love the Lord our God and we'll serve no other. Lord, we have no other desire. We have no other desire but to love the Lord. And we want to love you well. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Guys, I want to encourage you. Three things. One, Friday morning, Pretoria, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, Friday morning, 9 o'clock, Pretoria, 9 o'clock. We're going to have an awesome time together. Uh, here in Pretoria, 9 o'clock, Good Friday service. Sunday morning, 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock, Resurrection Sunday. Somerset West, Cape Town. You guys are going to be online with me on Friday, 9 o'clock. Don't miss it. Don't join it. Uh, I can't wait to be in Somerset West. The grand opening of Somerset Power Church, Somerset West, is on the 16th of April. But this weekend and this weekend only, Somerset West, Cape Town, you're with me online. As we do the final things in, your, in the building, I can't wait to be with you. Can't wait to put my feet in Cape Town and to see what the Lord is going to do. Then also, Durban, Empower Church, Durban. You have to go to Empower Church, Durban, 29 Salisbury Avenue, Friday morning, 9 o'clock, Sunday morning, 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock. Durban is a revelation from God. The revival is happening in Durban. And I want to encourage you to go there. If you are in Durban and you are in following my ministry, go and be in Durban. Guys, this is the time to serve the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is moving upon God's people. We are people of the Spirit. We are people of the Spirit. We love the Lord. And lastly, as I will always say to you when I lead anything in this church, whether online or or in a service, I want to tell you once again that I love you very, very much because the Lord loves you and because the Lord loves you, we love you. We are your servants unto Christ Jesus, the one that bought us by the blood. I love you. You must have a power-packed Tuesday and let's celebrate King Jesus on Friday and let's, res let's celebrate the resurrection on Sunday. Guys, this is going to be a cool weekend. I can't wait to be with you. I love you. Have an awesome, an awesome Tuesday and be blessed. Love you much and goodbye. Love you guys. Bye-bye.